I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I like this color. Some type of creamish interior. I don't know if you guys could tell the actual color. You're tuned in to Don't Plan It Live Behind the Scenes. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to be a part of the team, yeah? Hey, my bad. My bad, fam. Your boy, your boy was in the zone, man. You feel me? Jamming that lemon pepper, you hear me? That's the vibe. That's the vibe. But my bad. <laughs> Damn. But uh, let me start off this video properly, eh? What's good, fam? Another day. Another video. What's going on? What's going on, fam? What's going on? Another day above ground equals a beautiful day like I always say. So if it's a beautiful day, why not go out and chase your goals? Why not go out and chase your dreams? Why not go out and work on yourself, you hear me? You feel me, fam? You gotta go out there and work on yourself. You gotta go out there and make things happen. It's not gonna fall in your lap. You gotta put that work in, you feel me? You gotta put that work in. Don't nobody owe you, man. One thing you always gotta remember, don't nobody owe you nothing. With a capital N, nothing. You hear me? Don't nobody owe you nothing. Get out there, put your work in, you feel me? Although you, you know what I'm saying, you might have helped somebody, you might have let somebody borrow something, it'd be best to live with that thought, that mentality that nobody owe you nothing, man. Cause you feel me? You go to thinking people owe you something and they might let you down, man. So only you owe yourself something. You owe yourself something, you owe yourself to get out there, put that grind in, and get things popping, man. Real talk, man. Real talk, but what's good, though, man? Appreciate y'all for tuning in. You feel me? It's a beautiful day outside, man. We on our way to get some exclusive footage, you feel me, for us, for the channel, for the viewers, for the DPF, you hear me? The Don't Planet family, of course, for those who don't know what DPF mean, that's the Don't Planet family, man. We on our way to get some footage, and you feel me? That's what we that's what we doing today, man. That's what we doing. We going to get some footage. It's a beautiful day outside today, man. Very beautiful day outside, man. Fam, always remember, fam. Another day above ground. It's a beautiful day. That's all I got to say, man. It's a beautiful day. Y'all got to think about it, man, because some people didn't wake up today. You feel me? Some people didn't wake up today. Like sometimes. Sometimes people like, let's just say you go out and you buy some nice clothes or you go out and you do something nice for yourself or you go out and purchase something nice and then you go to saving it or you saving it for a special occasion. Special occasion or a special event coming up or you feel me, a special situation coming up in your life. Man, fam, every day you wake up is a special occasion, man. Don't wait on no special occasion to wear no certain outfit. Don't wait on no certain occasion. You feel me? To buy that new car or, you know what I'm saying? To bring the car out or whatever. Every day is a special occasion, man. When you wake up, that's a special occasion, you feel me? Definitely, man, definitely. But I appreciate y'all for tuning in, though, man. Um, If you're new to the channel, watch the full video. If you like what you see, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Click that notification bell, select all. Turn on them post notifications, man, because you do not want to miss the content that we post because the content we post be fire. And on top of that, we doing a don't giveaway, man. Real talk. We doing a don't giveaway. We giving away a 1973 two-door hardtop. Very solid starter donk, man. Notice I said starter donk. We not giving away a fully built donk. You feel me? We giving away a starter donk. But it's a very solid starter donk. It's a very solid start for anybody. You feel me? And whoever wins it don't get to run wild with their imagination and put that thing together to their liking. You feel me? Paint it what color you want to paint it. Do whatever color interior you want to do. Put whatever size wheels you want to do. Long as you like it, man, you win there. You feel me? We giving this dunk away once we hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. For a chance to win this dunk, all you have to do is subscribe to Don't Plan a YouTube channel. 
click that notification bell, select all, turn on the post notification, man. Post notifications must definitely be turned on because part of the requirements is to watch and comment on videos on Don't Plan a YouTube channel. So your notifications must be turned on so you can know when we post videos so you can go watch and comment, you feel me? Also, you gotta spread the word. Tell everybody you know that like don't. So about the Don't Plan it, Don't Giveaway. Tell them to subscribe for the chances to win. You feel me? Tell them to subscribe for the chances to win. The more people y'all get to subscribe, the quicker we get to 200,000 subscribers. You feel me? The quicker we get to 200,000 subscribers, the quicker one of the DPF will win that don't. The quicker, you feel me? Right now, we currently about 43,000 subscribers. You feel me? We got a little ways to go. A little bit under 160,000 subscribers we need before the giveaway. And you feel me? I'm here for the journey. And I hope everybody subscribe is here for the journey. You understand me? You feel me? It's all about that journey. We gonna do it together, man. Real talk. But yeah, fam, we on our way to get this footage. About to focus on this road, man. Y'all be safe out there. I'll see you guys when we get there, man. Let's go. All right, fam, we just got here, man. I told y'all I was going to get that exclusive for us. I just pulled up, man. Y'all take a look at it. Take a look at this, man. Oh, wait. Yes, sir. Y'all see what's going on. Y'all see what's going on, fam, but let's get out here. Let's see what's going on, man. Let's, let's check this out. All right, fam, here we go. This time we starting off different. We usually start off showing the outside of the car, but this time we showing off the inside first. You hear me? Sometimes you gotta flip it up, man. But y'all see this inside, inside, man, real crispy. Real crispy, some type of creamish interior. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man, I like this color. Some type of creamish interior. I don't know if you guys could tell the actual color. I don't know if the camera really shows the actual color, but it's a creamish, whitish color. It's like a mixed cream, creamish, whitish. Y'all see it? Brush gold stand wood on there. Oh, yes, sir. Upgraded dash. Got the center console down there with the radio. Y'all see the center console down there? Papa Smurf. So that's the name of this car, Papa Smurf. Nice. Center console. Y'all see the music, see the speakers down there and the kick panel. Matter of fact, look at the carpet, like, I like, you know what I'm saying, cream interior, navy blue carpet. Oh, yes, sir. With the dice in the mirror, you hear me? Got that 
blue in the 75 mode. Dark blue in the 75 mode. To match the dark blue convertible top. Y'all see it, man. 1975 Chevy Caprice. Y'all drop no comments, fam. Sitting on 26 cents. Gold Rush Ford Auto. 26 inch gold brush for the auto wheel. Super loud, but I guess it just keep the camera speaker on the camera is real yeah. sensitive. It's gonna pick it all up, like it's gonna make it seem like it's extra loud. I got you. you. feel me? But yeah, man, we came to see you about your creation, and we wanted to know, man. Uh, we know you let your imagination run wild with it, and what made you go? Well, actually, uh, is this your first dunk? No, nah, this is my third dunk. I had a um a '75 hard top, no '76 hard top, the same color this with white interior. But I never got to dress it up. What year, what year was that? A 76. No, what year was it you had, you um, had the 76? 20, no, 2015. Okay. 2015, I had one of my uh, Haitian homeboys bought it from from Fort Myers. Okay. I didn't get to keep it that long because everything I get, they know from where I'm from. If they bring the money, I'm going to sell it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how I move. But um, that's, that was my first. And then I had a, I bought a, a 1970s from Bowtie Connection okay. that he did for me and then this one, you know what I'm saying? But I've been, um, like like I said, I've been having Chevrolet's all my life. I don't have a, a gang load of box Chevy's. Mm -hmm. you know, I dropped every last one of them. And I got into the new car a little bit, mm -hmm. but the, the old car was calling me back, so I came and I dropped this one right mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But um, that would inspire me, the old heads, man, like um, riding my bicycle and stuff. Yeah. And I see them come through, Eric Clem and them. Lindsay, mm -hmm. all them boys come through. I like, man, I'm gonna get me one of them. I'm gonna get me one of them. And it just, yeah, yeah. it just inspired me. It made me do it more. You know what I'm saying? That's why I did it. And to this day, I still look back and I see them do. They're a little older than me, and I tell them, they like, man, you doing it, man. You, you doing the wrestling what we did, and it just 
It just fell in place. Mm -hmm. it so, fell in place. so this is your third one right here. Yeah. So you had a '76, uh -huh. a '72, and a '75. 75. Yeah. Uh, so right now we see you in a '75. Do you have a preference as to which is your favorite year? Uh, I like the '75. '75. I would, I would love to have a '71 because that's what everybody's doing. But I just love the '75 because I'm a tall dude. I'm six four. Mm -hmm. The seats, like I can get it. I'm comfortable in it. And then the front end to it. It's like the, the box Chevy a little bit in the front. So it's like two cars in one. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I, I like it like and it. And it, it just look, it look mean coming down the road. Like, you know, it, just look, how, it, look, it, look, it look mean coming down the road. You, can't, you, can't, you don't get that look with another year of 75. All of them got their own different type of look. Yeah. And I, I like that look. That's one reason why I, I, I really choose the 75. That's true. They all got their different look. That's one thing about it. Like me, for example, like me growing up, mm -hmm. like I always been into like 71, 71, 71. Mm -hmm. But then after that, when I started doing the whole Don't Planet thing, and I really started looking at Donks, like all of them grew on me. Yeah. Of course, 71 my favorite, mm -hmm. but each room got something unique about yeah. them, you feel me? Exactly, exactly. So yeah, man, so that's what it but is. But I, I, I like them all, but like I said, I like this room. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like I said, I ain't trying to keep up with the Jones, I ain't trying to be like another person, but this car is told to me. I was born in 1974, so yeah. just a year behind me, so it made me even feel more comfortable, like purchasing them. So yeah. I bought it, you know, did my thing. That's what's up, though, man. That's what's up, man. And uh, as far as the paint job, we noticed that the paint job looked real good. Mm -hmm. Did you recently get this car painted or whatnot? Or? No, uh, uh, long story short, 2018, I was shopping for a car. Yeah. And I seen this on the internet. Okay. This antique dealer in Orlando, Florida was selling it. And um, I couldn't go up there at the time to check it, so I got a partner that's a chef in Orlando, Ernst County. Mm -hmm. He checked it out for me, and me and him got the same type of taste when it comes to cars. So okay. he called me and said, hey, man, that's the car to buy. I went up there to look at it and I immediately tried to purchase it. But he wouldn't, the guy wouldn't sell it to me at that time because he had another dude that's flying for him north looking for it, but he never showed up, showed up. So I made a deal with him. I, I bought the car from him. So mm -hmm. that, that's how I bought the car from him. And, and, and that's, that's how I got the car from the dude. Like, that's how I asked him. That's how you got the car from the yeah, dude? Yeah, I bought it. Like, it was like I was looking on the internet looking for one because I was in the market uh, buying another one. Yeah. And I saw this one. That one made me get it. But I wanted the 75. But when I saw this one and I went and looked at it myself, I was like, no, I got to get this. And, and I bought it. And the paint job was just like that? Yeah, it was just like this. It was always garage kept. I'm the second owner of it. Wow. An elderly couple in North Florida bought it from a Chevrolet dealership up there brand new in 1975. And when I purchased it, it had um, 67 original documented miles on the motor. Mm -hmm. I just went and switched things out to my liking to do it the way I want to do it. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. And we see, okay, you got the, what you call it, sky blue, baby blue? It's like a North Carolina blue, but blue. it's a baby blue. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. And as far as the uh, this car goes, uh, we noticed you got the Papa Smurf thing in there, so yeah. is that the name of the car? Yeah, I'm, um, I was a big um, Smurf. I like the Smurf. Yeah. So when I seen the color, everything just like, it just grabbed me. So that's why I went ahead and um, like put that on there. And then up under my rear end, I got Papa Smurf engraved under the rear end too. So I'm, oh, I'm for real? A big, yeah, I'm a real big Smurf. Fan, so I did that. See the smurf in the windshield. And then I got it up under the bottom, under the rear end. They did that for me up under the rear end. Mm -hmm. well. And I did the, um, the console with the pop smurf. I just, I just always liked the smurf. Okay. And so everything just really, like I said, it's like really fell in place. Mm -hmm. like in, in place. Right. Okay. So as far as the interior goes, we noticed that the interior was a, was a cream. Mm -hmm. It's a creamish color. Did the car come with that color interior? No, it, it came with a. Um, a white, uh, a cocaine is white, mm -hmm. and um, I kept it like that from, for three years, and then recently I let um, Elegance in Miami, Florida mm -hmm. do it, the cream, because when the white started, the, um, the white was discolored racing, and it turned like a cream look, so I was like, you know what, mm -hmm. I'm going to go with the cream and put in it. Okay. And so that's what I did. I went with the cream, with the navy blue um, carpet, mm -hmm. and it just all, everything just fell in place, man. It, it fell in place from there. So. That's how that, that's, I, I go by, like I said, I go by sight and experiment, like stuff that make me make a move like that. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. I mean, it's definitely not, it's definitely like, to be honest with you, it's definitely one of the combinations that I have not seen in Florida yet. It's like a unique combination, mm -hmm. that whole uh, baby blue or North Carolina blue yeah. with that creamish interior. And it looked real good. Thank you. That doll, that doll, you, the doll represent the car too, right? Yeah, um, long story short, I would, uh, they the chick. Yeah. And, um, she, she gave it to me when it, when I had it, the white interior, and I just, I, um, it, it, it's just been in the car ever since then. Okay. But she knew I liked it, the Smurf. She's like, oh, that's Papa Smurf. I'm going to order you something. So she brought me that one. 
that rep there, you know. Okay, and I okay. just kept, you know, it, 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 it grew on me just like the car here, so I just kept it. Okay, okay. All right, so you first got into the don't gain some don't gain sometime. You say 2015, right? No, I got um, really yeah about 2015, but I have been having Chevys all my life. But I got into don't gain 2015, 2015, 2014, give or take. And what I you? never got to drop it. It was already clean. I got that car from New Jersey. Okay. And my first one came from New Jersey. The 76? Yeah. Okay. Jersey. Okay. And it was it wasn't it didn't have no rust. It was a clean car. That's why the guy bought it from me. I didn't keep it for three months. And he, he cashed me out and bought it. Mm -hmm. And then about four or five months later, he painted a candy green, green interior. And um, that was it from there. And then, like, I, I walked away from it for a minute. And then I was, I was shopping a, a while back again. And that's when I bumped into the one that Bone Tie Connection did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So when it comes to the Don't Game, considering you, the first time you got was sometime 2014, 2015. Mm -hmm. And now we in 20, we going on, we 20, well, we in 2021. Uh -huh. Like, has the Don't Game changed a lot? In your opinion, from then and now? Oh, of course, of course it have. It's like right now, it's like a more of a competition thing now. Mm -hmm. Like some 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 dudes take it from here to there, like right quick. Yeah. Like, you know, from zero to a hundred real quick with the country. And it shouldn't be like that, but that's just how it moves. Me, I'm not one of them dudes. I I I, I stay in my own lane. I do what I can do when I can do it. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I I but it, at the same time it's a good thing, it's a bad thing. Like it, 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 it fits the home. The man is with himself. It, that's what they want. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it changed. But like I said, in a certain way, time changes. So of course things are going to change. Mm -hmm. They're going to get higher. Sometimes it might get lower. But yeah, I love it. I love the culture. Mm -hmm. I can't say nothing bad about the culture. The culture is what it is. I love it. I love, I love it. the culture too. But I definitely understand where you're coming from when you mentioned the whole competition thing mm -hmm. me personally like, i'm not really big on the whole mm -hmm. competition thing because like when i first grew up when i first see, like when i first seen it laid my eyes on the dome that's when i was a kid mm -hmm. and you know when you was a kid you'd be like oh that's my car mm -hmm. oh i'm gonna get me one of them mm -hmm. like my thought was i was gonna get me one of them it wasn't i'm gonna get me one of them so i mm -hmm. could stun on nobody yeah, yeah, yeah. or shine on nobody yeah, yeah. it was just that i seen that car i like that car and i'm going to get that car when i get older when i can afford to get it mm -hmm. and that's what i did but these days it just seems like people are doing things like mm -hmm. you say for competition yeah. Cause so and so did this, so I want to do that. So and so got this, so now I want to do that. Like everybody just trying to outdo each other. How do you feel about the whole outdoing stuff? I don't, like, I don't like it, but um, yeah. that's them. Like me, I'm gonna I'm keep somewhere to lay my head, and I'm gonna keep me in old school. Like I, I try to make it work both ways, and a lot of people ain't able to do that. You got, you got some street dudes that spending athlete money in these cars. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, and at, at the end of the day. You did this to get that to get that. We can't keep up with the Joneses. I never try to keep up with the Joneses because um, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's crazy. Just to try to keep up. Do what you can do and when you can do it. That's my motto. I'ma do what I can do. Look, check this out. If you got fifty thousand in the bank, why are you gonna go purchase a forty thousand dollar car when you got fifty thousand? That's gonna leave you with two. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. That's how I, I, I do myself. If I got a hundred thousand, I'm not gonna go buy an eighty thousand dollar car. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna go put eighty thousand dollars for work. I'ma do what I can when I can. Exactly. And that's how I move. I always been like that since since I was able to count some money. So um, yeah. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. And what made you go with the brush gold? Oh, um, I like that classic look. Like um, when I first went to purchase the rim, me and Claude sat down at Coast to Coast, and he was like, "What you want to get?" I said, "Man, I want the new Ford that just came out last year." He showed it to him. I said, "I want them." I said, "But I want to do them gold." He said, "You wanted the gold, the shiny gold?" I said, "Nah." That's too much of a, like a, a tip, like it's, it's, it gets the, not the attention that I'm looking for. So I said, man, let's do it with the brush. So he showed me how it would look on the computer and I fell in love with it. So I got it. It's like a more of a classy look, not too much of a, you know, it's a classy and good at the same time. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I wanted to do it like that. That's what made me go with it. That's, that's what made me go with it. That's what's up. And I like it. It, 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 it stands out on it. It stands out. I, I like it. I like it a little better than when I ever had to put the, the, all the gold in the chrome. And from and from the way the car running, we like the way it sounds. Mm -hmm. What you got up under the hood? I got a um a three eighty three stroker. Um, it's sweet and everyday driving driver motor. Can we see it? Or? Yeah. yeah. You go, fam. I'm about to see that heart. That heart, y'all know that heart be important. That heart is what keep this baby moving. Did by Lenny Automotive. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. 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 Now we understand 
now we understand why it sound how it sound. Yeah, I got it, look, it looks how it sound. It look real good up under here. Yeah, I put a good something in it. Nice. I'll see you, fam. So you converted this to Yeah, it was when I first purchased the motor, it was carburetor. Yeah. Um, Harley carburetor. And then I went with the EF5, the Harley sniper. Mm -hmm. That performed it well. But um, out of the incident, it made me choose another route, and I went with this. Cause I went to go, um, like I said, my mechanic was like, hey man, I want to put the other, he's like, no man, your motor, that motor's good just like the other, let's do it this way. And I did this and I and I loved it. I wouldn't change the name in the world. It's, it runs A1, like good as hell. For real? That's what's up, man, we like it, man, we like it. Up under the hood looking real nice, I like that, I like that motor. That motor look real good and it sound real good, I'm pretty sure it runs good. Yeah. I try to keep it like a little more original, like it, it came but a little modern with it. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so when people look at it, like, oh, he did this to it, he did that to it, it looks good. So I've been working on it for a while, and I finally got it where I wanted to put it at. Yeah, it looks good. I don't have no problem with it at all. I got, like, maybe 8,000 miles on the motor. Maybe 8,000. I haven't drove. I did, I did the motor work in 2018, and I don't drive it that much. Mm -hmm. I don't really have the time. Well, not too much nothing going on. Since that virus came, it slowed a lot of things down with people. So yeah, so one of the questions we always ask people is about don't call the stories, you feel me? Don't call the stories meaning like any bad situation that happened to you with a shop or you know, your car broke down on the way to a sh uh, to an event, mm -hmm. you know, you was really trying to make an event or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, you, if you got one don't call a story, uh, can you tell us uh, what's the best one that you have? I got one, but you know, I ain't gonna blast it out. Nah, you ain't gotta blast nobody name or nothing like that. But y'all had recently got some stuff from work did to it and um, the people, they end up making me spend more money cause something they messed up. Mm -hmm. But um, we, we talked about it, we fixed it, you know what I'm saying? So, and, but that's the only horror story that I got. Cause I deal with one person really doing the car itself yeah. from the motor work to everything that been done to it and one person on the rims and stuff that was close to close. So I really didn't have a horror story in that area. Mm -hmm. Cause I just was touching base with two different people. Yeah. That's it. But yeah, that's, that's about it. Other than that, no, I can't, I ain't never had a horse. Not ever since I've really been doing a car, because like I said, I'm not gonna go deal with multiple people. I deal yeah. with the same people that I've been dealing with for a long time. Yeah. And, um, no, I ain't really got a bad, bad horse. Though. Okay, okay, that was up. And um, for anybody out there in the don't game that wanna get in the don't game, you got any advice you can give them? Yeah, I got a lot of advice. If this is what you truly wanna do, go for it. But if it's gonna put you in a position that you can't take your home base, don't do it, cause mm -hmm. this game is very expensive. You're not talking about a grand. You're talking about five grand or better just for like rims. You know what I'm saying? And that ain't count buying the car itself. When you're going buying a project car, you're dumping more money into it trying to get it, just the makeup on it looking good before you do the interior on it. So it's just, like if you can handle it, do it. But if you can't, don't go that route cause it's a very expensive route. And it costs, like, it costs. It, it takes, sometimes you could lose your woman behind this, like mm -hmm. real stuff, real talk. Mm -hmm. You know, once they start seeing the bills that you got, then go behind this to do this. But I advise, my advice to anybody, if that's what you want to do, do it, and be good at doing it. That's, that's the advice I can give you. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up, bro, bro. We appreciate you doing yeah. this video with us, man, bringing out this beautiful creation of yours, Papa Smurf. You feel me? We appreciate that, bro. I appreciate you too, bro. Fam, y'all see it, man. Papa Smurf the 75, owned by the homie Bali 561, man. My man, like I always tell y'all about the imagination, man. My man let his imagination run wild with it. You see, what? he got a 75 Carolina Blue, gold brush wheels, gold brush steering wheel, uh, uh, cream interior. You feel me? My man put the combination together. Let his imagination run wild with it. He built it to his liking. You feel me? He happy with it. I'm happy with it. That's how you got to do it. You understand me? But y'all see what's going on, man. Beautiful 75. I like it. I like it. I like it, fam. Y'all drop them comments. But yeah, fam, round of applause for 561 Bali and his 1975 Papa Smurf, man. Y'all drop them comments. Want to know what y'all think, man. Very beautiful car. You feel me? Like I said, man, I don't see how anybody could look at one of these beautiful creations that somebody put together and, and, and feel any type of ill feeling or hate feeling, you feel me? This should motivate you, you feel me? This is motivational purposes only, motivational use only, you feel me? 
If any, if I could do it, he could do it, anybody could do it. You feel me? You just gotta put your mind to it. It's out there, get on your grind and get it. But y'all already know, man. Until next time, keep it locked right here. Don't plan to lie behind the scenes, you hear me?